Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited to dive into a brand new movie that's hitting our screens today, November 1 ST, on Paramount Plus get ready for an emotional roller coaster because we're talking about The Dead Don't Hurt. This film promises to take us back to the rugged, untamed frontier of the 1860s, where love, war and the struggle for survival intertwine in a truly captivating story. Now let's set the stage. Picture this, the western United States, the air thick with tension and the backdrop of a nation on the brink of division. This is where we meet our fierce protagonist, Vivian Lucudei, played by the incredibly talented Vicky Creeps. Vivian is not your typical damsel in distress, she's a fiercely independent woman who knows her worth. Right from the start we see that she has a fire in her spirit, and let me tell you that's something I absolutely love in a lead character. The film kicks off in the bustling city of San Francisco, where Vivian crosses paths with Holger Olsen, portrayed by the legendary Viggo Mortensen. Holger is a Danish immigrant, and their chemistry is electric. Their love story blooms amidst the chaos of a rapidly changing world, and it's both beautiful and bittersweet. After some sweet moments, Vivian decides to follow Holger to his home near the quiet town of Elk Flats, Nevada. This journey isn't just about geography, it's about their hopes and dreams for a shared future. But of course, no great love story comes without its obstacles. Just as they start to build a life together, the civil war breaks out. This war isn't just a backdrop, it's a pivotal moment that drives a wedge between our star-crossed lovers. Holger makes a heart-wrenching choice to fight for the Union, leaving Vivian behind to navigate the treacherous terrain of their new home all alone. Now let's talk about Elk Flats. It might sound serene, but it's a hotbed of corruption and danger. Enter Mayor Rudolf Schiller, played by the ever-charming Danny Houston. He's got that classic power-hungry politician vibe, and trust me, he's not the only one to watch out for. We also meet Alfred Jeffries, a powerful rancher played by Garrett Dillahunt, who adds another layer of menace to the town. It's a classic tale of good versus evil and let me tell you the stakes are high. As if that wasn't enough, we also have Weston, the violent and unpredictable son of Alfred, portrayed by Solly McLeod. He's got his sights set on Vivian, and his aggressive pursuit adds a real sense of urgency and tension to the film. It's fascinating to watch Vivian stand her ground against Weston's unwanted advances. This really showcases her strength and determination in a time when women had to fight to be heard and respected. But hold on, folks. The story doesn't just stay in the realm of danger and conflict. When Holger returns from the war it's a reunion that's anything but simple. Both he and Vivian have changed, shaped by their experiences and the harsh realities they faced. They must confront not just the world around them, but the individuals they've become. This journey of reconciling their love with the scars of war and personal growth is what makes The Dead Don't Hurt more than just a tragic love story, it's a deep exploration of revenge and forgiveness. I love how this film presents a nuanced portrayal of a passionate woman in a world dominated by ruthless men. Vivian is determined to stand up for herself, and in a landscape filled with conflict, her journey becomes a powerful statement about resilience and the fight for one's identity. So if you're in the mood for a film that blends romance with historical drama, along with some thrilling moments of conflict and redemption, make sure to check out The Dead Don't Hurt on Paramount+. Plus. It's a beautiful exploration of love, strength, and the complexities of human relationships in a world that often feels unforgiving. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on the film once you've seen it. Make sure to drop a comment below and let me know what you think of Vivian's journey and the challenges she faces. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this, and until next time keep watching and keep believing in love.